Sketch flip? Yep. Doing this tonight instead of tomorrow. And we'll do game clearing tomorrow night. Oh, as I go running into the cryogonal. <laughs> I figured this dropped last night, so why not do this instead first tonight? Ba -ba -bum -bum. Snowball fight! Ooh! Cosmic power! Did Sailor Moon drop this? <laughs> Amora! So cute! Alright, let's see. Or Clug. Act 2. Welcome back to Freezington. Forget Washington, I'm a Freezington. Hello, hello! What do we have here, another visitor? I am the mayor of this town of Freezington. I must say, it is a surprise to have visitors arriving in out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Sure. Ah, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. Fairy. <laughs> but since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Frasington specialty as a memento. A boat neck sweatshirt. Ooh. It's a shirt... Emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration's based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. Hence the unusually sized head. We thought we'd make the design a touch up more hip, as they say. Uh, excuse me. If you'd like to see what the King really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the by, while you're in the crown tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. Oi! Over here! Over here, Amanda! One step at a time, Peony. You just got into town. We're having a sale. I do not want to buy a big pearl, thank you. Do come again. Check out this statue. Statue of Pokemon. But somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Something missing. Reason. <laughs> Get it? Because it's freezing. Aha! There you are. This pocky little place will be our lodgings. <laughs> but as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know. Not much about base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough taffin', faffin' about, Amanda. Let me tell you about the Peony Exploration Team is after what? <sighs> I can't word tonight. Round here, they've got a fair new few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. I assume the legendary birds. And furthermore, these great Hulk dot faced giants that sleep in some ruins of certain thing. I assume Reggie's. Why do I feel like I know that name? Many. Etc. 
See what I mean? I went too fast. And we're not stopping until we found just as much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Pyrene Exploration Team. Yeah. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows? They even say chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. So here's to a grand adventure expedition, Chief Amanda. Chief? Obviously. Look, who do you, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter sitting in alone in this room, pinning for her papa. Gah. Nope. Not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be on the hold down the fort, Chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition, Chief. Gah. Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Uniform. Aha! Now we're really snuggly. Ah, 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 look at that! Fits you like a glove! I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. But there's enough to give you one. If you ever need to change or have a kit, by all means, head to this bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1. Clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony and an old photo was attached to it. <clears throat> There's a legendary tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Clue number 2. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the da 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 Heaven style of snow. Near where green meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple of the giant of steel sleeps. Let out no whack iron eel. On the two on the distance paths of three point pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door are strange words. Where re door all be in. Interesting. Clue number three. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. The legendary clues are meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. First off, why not have a look at that clue about the King of Possible Horus? Seems this king's bonds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had the name of this expedition, I'd call it The Secret Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. Okay. There's a great big statue of a bang in the middle of the village, though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Do you want to change back into your usual clothes? No way! These looks this looks snuggly. Aha! I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Ooh. This is supposed to be one ultra mega corker of a ball. Use it wherever you think you oughta. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it though. If you ever get it a bit turned around, go on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. And made by yours truly. Anyway. I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin! Have a smashing time out there! Why, thank you. Two giants, gigas and something else? We'll have to see. 
Change the armband. Which color would I like? Water. No. Now that's more like it. That's my kind of color. It's time to dive back out in the snow. Cutscene. So pretty, the snow. Snow on trees is always beautiful to look at. Hello. Must be one of the temples. That's a big tree. Hmm. There's a statue. Come on, Pikachu. Missing something. Well, let's check the map. Well, this is the entirety of the Crown Tundra, and it's definitely way... Whoops. It's definitely way bigger than here. Way bigger than the Isle of Armor, is what I wanted to say. <laughs> Perhaps we should go talk to Sonya. Maybe? Pretty sure it was on that table. Amanda! How's it going, gathering evidence? About that evidence. We don't have enough data. Keep that shit up, you got it. Well, we'll go back to that table in the house. Come on, Pikachu. Hmm. Hey, Chief. My pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your... Pillow? Oi, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Unfortunately, I left. I went and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I went to have a look around the town for something to rest my head on, and I found this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it! You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's not a pillow, is it? <laughs> that's a, that's asking a lot, even coming from you, chief. Hmm. Da da da. Hmm. What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokemon? Yeah. Ultra Mega, seriously? This is just some old thing I found. <sighs> but if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then, have it. But you'd better make sure you track that legend down. That does not look like a pillow. That's a wooden crown. <laughs> That's something that'll just mess up your neck. Put on the crown. Russell, Russell. Schwunk. Hmm. The wooden crown fits perfectly on the statue. Crown. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, hello there. Does it... Want you to follow it? Wait, come back! Hey! Well, hello there! It seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Sure! Grog! 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 This is where the fun starts. The fun stuff starts. Ooh. It's smaller than I thought it would be. That's what I was thinking. What a cutie. Roar, roar. Too nervous to eat berries. Hmm. 
can't throw a ball. It won't let its guard down. Oh, yeah? In that case... Okay. that note switch crazy that you can't tell it's level mm. get a drain I don't think so hmm better. It's a mystery. Well, let's see if that's good enough. Hope you insist. It fainted. Just what was that? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Who are you? Wow, wow. I can't understand you, but you're so cute. Hmm. Oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chief? Are you having a Pokemon battle? Oh? Huh? <gasps> what a massive noggin! Hmm. <laughs> Crown. No, come back! What's this? Oh my! Peony? Ah, yes. A sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I am Calyrex. I am one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make, me off they used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see... It is the faith of the people that grants me strength, and now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, I at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. Yes? I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treat me like I was some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into mild panic at the sight of me. 
Please, kind-hearted human, I beg you to help me. Got down the clues! Calyrex appeared once as I placed the crown on the statue of King of Bountiful Harvests. Calyrex can speak to humans, apparently, by taking over a person's body. Peonies, in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the king. A bountiful harvest from the people of the village. <laughs> First Mewtwo taking over Nurse Joy. Now this. Come along, Pikachu. Ooh, sparkly. A large leak. No. I used to believe it was real, you know. The Pokemon King? An old fairy tale. That's not what we need. Hmm. That's not a good sign for him. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm doing something busy right now. Hmm. You're no help. Oh wait, what about that child? What about that child? Do you like walking around together with your favorite Pokemon? Yes. It's the best. But I already was doing that. Come along, Pikachu. No, it's not looking good. For our king here. But I already asked some of those people. Was I missing people? Let's find out. You talk to her if you for some reason want to turn off following. Mm. Sonia! Wait, I didn't want to do that. Sorry to interrupt. Aha! Uh -huh. Mayor! Do I... Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do! It's the only main tourist attraction of our lovely Freezington, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if only the King were real. But he is real! If you just come with me... Ah, human child, I trust you are able to speak to the villagers. So, how was it? Did they say anything about me? They did, but... Hmm, it is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I am the king of bountiful harvests, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I simply cannot rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Your loyal steed? Yes, the four-legged Pokémon that I used to ride across all the land. The very same Pokémon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not of where it may be. Even if, should, even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained well royal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not so loyal steed I would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf if you are able to find any information at all I ask that you let me know Blech. Gah! huh chief with a massive noggin oh wait no it's normal you saying I got a big head 
Must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange, like my body's not quite on my own. On my own, I should say. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. You were definitely not asleep. You were under the control. You were definitely not sleeping. Quick, let's talk to the mayor. The mayor is not home at the moment. He went to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. Southeast of the village. Go through Frost Point Field and just keep going to the left. If you say so. Come along, Pikachu. I should probably heal up first before going. Heal up. Then we'll go. Restore, please. Ding, 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 ding. I already feel like there's a lot more to do on this DLC compared to the Isle of Armor. And I approve. Oh,